Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start the next pressure segment of getting a soul orb back to its rightful place. Grab it. Oh boy. <laughs> this second one is much, much higher than the first one. The first one was introductory. Oh, and by the way, that hand is pretty much invincible for the most part, aside from being able to stun it. Just saying. Are you going to get in my way as I... Oh, I guess not. I'll just leave you down there. Who cares? <laughs> Alright, I should be able to get the orb from here. They give you just enough space, and he's going to be stuck down there. Ha ha. Oh, and the red dot on the map indicates where the orb is, in case you didn't realize that by now. Just thought I would mention that. Alright. So, we have our orb, and we are going to be stalked. That is going to be fun. Come on, cutscene. Actually, where is it? I'm expecting it to be... Oh, there we go. It took a little longer this time. Alright, I'm going to... Plop it down. It's going to it's gonna roll to the center. It's not rolling to the center on its own. It should roll to the center on its own. Because there's a little funnel effect of it. Alright, so you got... This... Claw shotting segment here. Just get to a safe spot first, and then... Oh, actually, I did that wrong. You're supposed to grab this. Okay, go up on oh, You're gonna get in my way, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna lead the hand to the other corner. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna distract you guys over here. Okay, you can you can be here if you'd like. You're not gonna hurt me. I, I, know, you're, I know you're too slow to hurt me. <laughs> okay, here comes the hand. I'm just gonna get further off to the side here. That's good enough. Alright, now what, I, what I'm going to do here is get on the corner, and then I'm going to throw it to the center, because of the funnel effect. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? I missed the center. I mean, I missed it. <laughs> you know, these guys are really getting in my way. Maybe I should, should kill you guys off, because you're just that much in the way. Okay, you try, try and fall on me here. Okay, thank you. Because you are going to miss horribly. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Because then this raises you up here. And you grab the orb. Take... Oh, shoot. I did it wrong. I was supposed to get on solid ground. Okay, follow me here. Follow me here. <laughs> it just kind of gets like sucked in place. I just need to get up here. Oh! And then I was going to grab it from his hand. Fine, be that way. I'll just steal it back from you. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to plan this out a little better this time. I need to be more towards this corner this time. In order to get on the other side of the room. Alright, follow me here, follow me here. Good. Wait, actually, follow me here. And then try and drop on top of me, like that. When you see, it, when you see the shadow start shaking, it, you can safely move out of the way. Alright, get up here. Safe. I don't mind if it grabs it at this point, because I can just get it back. Right from its hand. At least I should be able to from here. There we go. And out the door we go. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the chest on the way back here, because the orb is not the thing that we need to get these chests. You'll see what I mean once I get them uh, a little bit later. In fact, I will be showing you how to get those chests very shortly. Once I finish off this room. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, oh jeez, I gotta... This slope is going to lead that orb back to the lower spot. Can I throw it up there? No, I can't throw it up there. Uh, maybe what I should do here is... At least what I think I have to do here is... No, wait, I don't have... Oh, it does react to this. Okay, so maybe that's the thing that I need here. I forgot how to get through this room safely. Yeah, that's, that's not... Oh, okay, I remember now. I gotta use those platforms to get across and light those other orbs on the other side. But I gotta keep the hand distracted. <laughs> Got all about this, but that's okay. Oh, that worked out nice. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. <laughs> See, there's no way back from there without this orb normally. If you don't have the super special dungeon item that you need to do this without these orbs. And that's also something that I need to um, get the chests. As again, I say, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so now we're out here. This guy will revert back to normal. We don't have to worry about the hand. See, you just can't talk to these people. It's too bad. I really would like to know what they have to say. Alright, platform over there. And we are about to get the item that we need. Come on. There we go. Just plop it in the hole. Yay! They're like magnets. <laughs> Congratulations! You get the light sword! Yeah! It is apparently a more powerful master sword, but I don't really notice it all that much. Maybe its power is to be able to cut through the dark fog, and that's that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yay! Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go back to the other routes and get those chests, and then I'm gonna go to that one and get that chest as well. This won't take too long, don't worry about it. Like I said, I don't notice the sword being all that much more powerful, but it does glow quite nicely, at least in this realm. I don't notice that glow at other places unless I just wasn't really paying much attention. <laughs> or maybe it's a thing that only affects the sword in this particular place, I don't know. Alright, let's, let's start by getting those two chests off to the side. Now, remember those... Uh, Orbs that made the platforms. Oh wait, I should snipe the keys. Oh, you suck. <laughs> uh, okay, now what you can do with your sword here is just casually cut your way through the darkness and you can make platforms appear with your sword. And that's how you get up to these plat uh, these alcoves on the sides. And you can also get pieces of heart. There's only one more in the entire game. Oh, crappers. <laughs> I, got, I nicked the fog, that's okay. So now you see there's light that you can cut. I mean, you, you cut through the darkness to make this platform of light appear. And there we go, another purple rupee. Let's check our map here to see if there's anything. No. Okay, I just want to make sure. Pfft. I wanted to make sure there wasn't anything, you know, any of the, the route that I had to worry about getting back. All right, now to get out of here with uh, without the soul orb, just shimmy yourself over here onto this platform. See those two light orbs? Well, they're dark orbs right now, but you infuse them with light and like that. And then you make a platform appear with them. And that's how you also make the uh, light orb way, way down back in that fog up here if you missed any chests back on the way through there. So that is nice to know, I have to say. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go down the right path. And get the last treasure chest down there. And no problemo. And go a little faster, please. <laughs> Luckily, this is, this platform is really the only really slow platforming segment. I really wish I could talk to you guys. Oh, and I never gave you a good look at uh, what they look like before. You can see they they have markings of the Twilight all around their bodies as well. But these are what the uh, Twilight people look like. Kidoki. Mm, uh, what about you, Slender Man? They seem really spooky, but they are friendly. And okay, okay. Now, one chest on this route, and then I can continue the dungeon, and I won't be, uh, have any trouble with the rest of it because I have everything I need to complete this place. Whoop, whoop. 
You know, these uh, Shadow Deku Babas are more like the um, ones that you, they come after you once they once you cut their vines off from the ground. I forgot their name offhand, but whatever. Oh, they are Deku Serpents, excuse me. That That's their name. Okay, from here, cut through the fog with your sword. And now that you're close enough, quickly get up to here and open what's in this chest. Lo and behold, the final piece of heart in the entire game. Be proud. Woo! And needless to say, the heart container is, you know, the very... <laughs> that kind of sucked. The, um... The last heart container will be after you defeat the boss of this dungeon. So, after I finish this, we will be at 20 hearts. That will be awesome. And I keep missing the freaking pot. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like right there, and I, I still miss the pot. Okay. Uh, what are in these pots? Why not break them? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back through here. And I'm gonna show you the other powers of this sword. Ah, glowy. So beautiful. With bloom! <laughs> By the way, that portal to the dungeon is pretty cool looking. I have to say it's like abstract circles, so to speak, in the artsiness. I mean, with artsiness. All right. Um, if you don't uh, free these guys with the soul orbs, you can just use your sword to do so as well. So I would mention that. So you see all the... I just heard a car go rock. Where? Hmm. They're flying around the area. I guess they're no big deal. You guys. Die in one hit. <laughs> okay, so stand here. Cut through the darkness like that. Wait, actually... That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So yeah, you cut through the darkness like so, and that'll take care of the wall. I forgot you had to do a spin attack, that's my mistake. Probably even better with the great spin. No, actually the the great spin is completely optional, as is the uh, as most of the um, secret abilities, hidden ab hidden skills. I'm looking for fairies, actually, when I'm hitting these pots, but I think they would be more closer to the uh, boss area. Maybe the sword is more powerful than it was before, or at least it is to shadow enemies, that's for sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna end off this part here, because the fun- Yeah, I I'm gonna end it off here, because the final trek to the top of the tower is through that door, and... Well, yeah, things are gonna get real. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.